Not coffee? No, thanks, Paul. What's gotten into your young brother lately? Tearing around the countryside? Playing poker? Getting home at all hours? Boy, you're just young. So in his oats. Well, then we should straighten out and confine his oats sowing activities to the ranch. Let him out of bed, will you? He'll spend the whole day there. I'll get him for you. Hey, Joe. Joe, wake up. Wake up, wake up. Up, madam. Come on. Hey. just now? No, I didn't do it just now. It's a long story. Yeah, well, tell me about it later. Paul's waiting for you downstairs, and he's in a bad mood. Oh, just my luck. He's got to be in a bad mood. Oh, has everybody got to be in a bad mood? What a lump. Get in last night, anyhow, little brother. Oh, I guess about four o'clock. It's a good thing Paul didn't catch you. You'd have more lumps that one. Ooh, hoss, I must have laid in that road for hours after they bushwhacked me. How much did you get on the road, anyhow? Well, I started out with about $20, and after the poker game, I guess I had close to 100 Wow. You sure got a talent for trouble, little brother. Paul sends you into town to get the mail. You end up in a poker game, win $100, and then get bushwhacked. How do you get in all them messes, anyhow? Well, oh, there's this new tin horn gambler in town named Traeger. He's bragging everybody about how great his cards were, so I thought I'd show him. Show him what? Like how to draw to an inside straight? <laughs> you know, I did, too. I drew an inside straight against him. He was a big loser in the game. And I wouldn't be a bit surprised if he wasn't the one that bushwhacked me. He was a real bad loser. Here comes Paul talk about something else. <clears throat> Hoss? Yes, sir. These are missing supplies. And you, young fella, don't forget that window pane. Yes, sir. Make sure that I get someone at a decent hour, will you? Yes, sir. Owen, stop in at the post office, see if a package has arrived from Adam. Uh, yeah, when's he coming home? In about a week. Oh, I got a letter from him, which this young man finally brought. Uh, seems he bumped into an old friend of his, a clipper captain, who needed some ready cash. So, uh, the fellow offered to sell Adam a beautiful uncut ruby which he picked up in India. Adam buy it? He sure did for a thousand dollars. Worth much more, of course. That Adam. Ain't he a shrewd one? Yeah, he sure is. He didn't want the ruby stolen or maybe lost, so he put it in a small, plain box and sent it home. So, check at the post office, huh?
You feeling all right? Yeah. You look awfully pale. I didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night, Bob. I know that. I'll try to make up for tonight, will you? Start ordering those supplies. I'll be back in a minute and help you load them. Wait a minute, where are you going? Over to Saloon. Now, Joe, don't you think you got enough trouble without going over there and getting yourself in another poker game? Look, stop worrying me. I'm not going to get in another poker game, I promise. So we'll see if that tin horn's over there. Or whether he skedaddled out of town after he bushwhacked. Joe, you ain't got no proof that he's the one that done it. He's throwing my money around, I got proof. Hey, Joe, how can you tell it's your money or not? Morning, little Joe. What do you have? That doesn't for me, Sam. I'm just killing time. Say, uh, has that Traeger fella been around? You getting in on it, Joe? Getting in on what? The flapjack contest. <laughs> the what? It's the flapjack eating contest Saturday. You know, on Founders Day. The Merchants Association is sponsoring it. Here, they're signed up for it. Oh, yeah? <laughs> flapjack contest. Hey, what's Traeger got to do with it? Well, he's taking bets on Big Ed Simpson winning the contest. That's why I thought you wanted him. Oh, he's taking bets, huh? Yep. Giving five to one if Big Ed Simpson wins the contest. Hi, little Joe. Hi, Give me two beers, son. Right. Hey, well, where is Traeger? In the back room. Right. Thanks. Two beers. I hear you're throwing all kinds of money around, Traeger. What? Oh, well, last night after the poker game, you said you were broke. Now you're throwing all kinds of money around in some contest. Well, it ain't none of your business, but I ain't throwing no money around at all. All I'm doing is making bets on Big Ed here winning these flapjack contests. Uh, flapjacks is my favorite food. Uh, especially when the prize is $500. Now, Big Ed, you simmer down. Stop your bragging. Otherwise, I'm going to have to raise the odds on you. So how are you going to pay off if he loses? Big Ed ain't going to lose. But if he does, the payoff is my business. So like I was saying, I'm taking bets on Big Ed at five to one, and I'm paying off by the book. Put me in for $10. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Joe. What's so funny? <laughs> I'm afraid this deal is a little too big for you, little Joe. When I talked about five to one, I was talking about five hundred to one hundred dollars. Oh, well, that's fine. Put me down for a hundred dollars. Oh well, Cartwright. One hundred dollars. That's right. And I'll be right here Saturday to collect. Yeah, you better be right here Saturday to pay off. <laughs> <laughs> See you, Sam. See you, Joe. Well, little brother, you sure have been a big help this morning. I had to load all these supplies by myself. What you been doing in there all this time, anyhow? Well, just signing up for the flapjack contest. Surprising. I never knew you was fond of flapjacks. Oh, I'm not. You are. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Well, I, I just signed you up for the flapjack contest. That's, that's crazy. If I wanted flapjacks, I'd just get Hop Singh to mix me up a batch. The winner of the flapjack contest gets $500. Is that a fact? Yep, that's a fact. After you win a contest and I win my bet, there's $1,000. What bet? Well, Traeger's in there. He's given five to one odds that Big Ed Simpson's gonna win the contest. I know you can out-eat him any day of the week, so naturally I had to bet against him. Joe, all you're doing is making a lot of trouble for yourself. If Paul finds out you've been gambling again, he's gonna clobber you. I'm gonna get more than clobbered if I don't get $1,000 before Adam gets back. Now, what in tarnation's Adam got to do with it? Remember when I got bushwhacked? Yeah. 
Well, they also stole a little package that I picked up at the post office. Adams, thousand dollar ruby? Adams, thousand dollar ruby. You see, Hoss, I gotta get that money. I just gotta. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what you gotta do, little brother. You gotta tell Paul this, this whole miserable story. Just lay it on the line. Now, that's what you gotta do. But, but, but stop to think for a minute. Try, try to visualize what's going to happen when I tell him the truth. Can you see it? Now, wouldn't it be easier just to, to win the $500? They, they had good flapjacks. Oh, he'll be low in a minute, but he's just walking the rest of the way home. He's walking? What in heaven's name for? Well, for? For exercise. That'll build up his appetite. He eats more than all of us put together. Why does he have to build up his appetite? Well, for the flapjack contest. The flapjack? Say that again. This Saturday is Founders Day in Virginia City, right? Yeah. Well, part of the big doings is a flapjack contest. I entered horse. I figure he's a cinch to win it. Sure. And of course, you fellas have nothing better to do. Oh. I'd unload those supplies. Oh. And very first thing, put that window pane back in your room. Holy Toledo pile of window pane. You forgot it. Oh, Pa, it, I was so busy, it just slipped my mind. Sure, you were busy entering horse at a flapjack contest. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll go back and get oh, it. Oh, no, you won't. You just stay right here. There's plenty for you to do around here. Now, just unload the supplies. Yes, sir. I guess Hoss thought of it for me. Congratulations. What you got out there, Hopsing? Smells delicious. Fry pork chop. Pork chops? Uh, hot dog, that's my favorite, Hopsing. Bring them home, starve them to death. Hungry enough, I could eat fried bear fat. Oh, Hoss, please. Hey, didn't I tell you exercise would improve your appetite? Didn't I? That's me, buddy. Oh, yeah, Pa. Uh. Mm, it's nice no, no, thanks, Hopsing. I, I don't care for any salad. I'll just have the pork chops. Mr. Joe say this your supper. What? Yeah, it's, uh... It's a diet. Oh, it's real good. Carrots and celery and an apple. It'll keep you alive. Joe, I'm, I'm starving to death after all that exercise. I, I can't live on this rabbit food. Do you want to win the $500 or don't you? Well, yeah, but Joe, this ain't fair. All right, go ahead. Go on, stuff yourself. Eat the pork chops, have the bread, the peas, have dessert. Go on, gorge yourself. Don't worry about the promise you made to me. Go ahead, lose the $500. I've done everything I can do. Oh, now wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold your horse a minute. I didn't say I wouldn't eat this rabbit food, but I'm just worried about who's gonna pick me up when I fall over in a dead faint from hunger. Hoss, you know you can count on me. I'll be with you every minute till Saturday. Yeah, I reckon I could bet on that. It fueled part of the expression, Paul. <clears throat> Joseph. Joe, have you ever thought of going into politics? Oh, I still have to make all that noise.
What in tarnation is going on down there? Well, nothing, Potts. All right, go back to sleep. What are you doing down here? Hmm? What are you doing down here? What are you doing down here, Joseph? It's too cold to sleep in my room with the window broken. And what is your excuse? I came down here to get a drink of water. A drink of water, my foot. You came down here to sneak some food out of the kitchen, didn't you? Hmm? <laughs> and you're sorry, aren't you? Oh, you're not sorry. I'm hungry, Joe. Hungry, that's what I am. And you are going to stay hungry until the contest is over. Now go upstairs and go to bed. Forget I'll be here all night long. Right there. Here go. Uh, yeah, yeah, Pa. I'm coming up. I'm just straightening up. You finished, Mr. Cartwright? Yes, thank you, I'm saying. Joseph. Yeah, yeah, Pa? Now, look, either you eat your breakfast or you go back to bed. Either one, but do one of them, will you? Yeah, I'm sorry, Pa. Sorry. Just, well, with Hoss banging around half the night, I just didn't get much sleep. Well, let me remind you, young man, that nobody got too much sleep last night. And everybody would have been much better off if you'd stayed in bed instead of sitting around spying on your brother. Morning, Paul. Good morning. I'm saying you got any breakfast for me? Hey, where's the apple? Mr. Joe say apple only for supper. I'm going to seek the peace and quiet of the upper pasture. And against my better judgment, I'm forced to send both of you into Virginia City again to get some more fencing, which we need. And I'm going to count on you, Hoss, to see that your young brother keeps out of trouble. That ain't always easy. But... I'm making it your responsibility, Hoss. And as for you, young man, don't come home without that window pane. You know you can count on me, Pa. Well, I'm sure trying, son. I'm sure trying. Excuse me. All right, let's go. I ain't finished my breakfast yet. Joe, I promised Paul I'd keep you out of trouble. Trouble? Who's getting into trouble? I just got an idea to get us out of trouble. More, more trouble than we got out of yesterday. Hey, hey don't, don't forget the window pane. The window pane. Get up. Get up. All right, Sam. 
You're getting to be a regular customer. How come you're back in town again today? Ah, uh, horse and I came in to pick up some fencing. I'm just killing time till he gets it ready. Oh, that's hard work. Waiting, I mean. <laughs> so have a beer. I'll take you up on it. Sounds good. Well, if it ain't the big old spender from the Ponderosa. <laughs> What's on your mind, Traeger, besides the usual larceny? Well, I hear you got that big fat brother of yours entered into the flapjack contest. Yeah, that's right. And that big brother of mine's gonna ruin you and you have to pay off all those bets. Is that so? Yeah, that's so. What do you think about that, uh, Big Ed? Nothing. That hoss has been eating so high on the hog out there at the Ponderosa that he ain't gonna be no competition at all. Now, you gotta be poor to be hungry. And I ain't had a job in six months. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about that, Codright? I think your friend's head's as fat as his belly. I'll tell you why he hasn't worked in six months, because he's lazy. And that's why you're gonna lose, because my brother Horse is not only a big eater, he's also a fast, ambitious eater. You, uh, wouldn't be willing to put your money where your mouth is? Oh, are you talking about another bet? Now, what else would I be talking about? Now, let's see, my confidence in Big Ed was five to one. What's yours in that brother of yours? Well, I don't want to terrify you, Traeger, so we'll leave it the same, five to one. Good. I'll put 500 against horse. Mark it down. Ah, sure. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. That's 500. 500, right. Against horse cut. H-O-S-S. Now, you be sure to be here tomorrow after the contest. Oh, don't you worry. I'll be here with a new and bigger wallet. Thank you, sir. You're very welcome. You been making more bets of that tin horn? Shh. Keep your voice down. I don't want him to hear you. He's liable to try to change his mind. Oh, did I trap him? Did I trap him into a bet? <laughs> what kind of trap? See, I figure when Traeger hears you're entering the contest, he's gonna start watching on the bets with Big Ed. So I play like I'm frightened. You see, I'm worried about the competition. So I get into bed again. Joel, just how much you got riding on this contest, anyhow? If Big Ed loses, I get $500. If you win, I get another $500. 500 and 500, that's the 1,000 I need for Adam, plus the 500 you get for winning the contest. We split that down the middle, and it's a nice little profit for both of us. Yeah, yeah. What happens if I lose and Big Ed wins? Don't talk that way. It makes me upset. Yeah? Well, you just stay upset until you can examine the other side of that coin. Well, Big Ed wins, I lose a hundred dollars. Yeah. If Big Ed wins, that means I lose, don't it? Then what? Twenty, twenty-five, hundred. Twenty-five hundred dollars plus that other. Joe, are you crazy? Hey, you stop talking that way. Don't talk that way. Think how nice it's going to be when I win all that money. Look what you're doing. You're making me nervous. Sam, let me have another beer. Hey, uh, yeah, me too, Sam. Just for my No, 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 no. A glass of water. What? You heard me. A glass of water. Look, Hoss, beer has hops in it. It's filling. It's fattening. Now, no beer. Water. Water. Carrots and celery. You're trying to kill me, ain't you, Joe? Oh, you, keep, you, you keep your voice down. You know that little Joe? He's a lot smarter than he looks. Yeah, but not as smart as you, Trigger. Yeah. Prettier, maybe, but not as smart. <laughs> <laughs> you bet he ain't as smart as I am. Now, listen. <laughs> Come on, finish your water. Did you get that window pane? Jake didn't have no more of them. He what? He didn't have no more of them. After I bought that one yesterday, the one you busted, he ran out. He said he'd had a big run on them. Oh, no. Oh, Pa's gonna have my hide. Well, I, I guess that's kind of my fault, little Joe. What? The window panes. You know the rooms I got upstairs? Well, I've been renting them out to cow hands that can't afford a hotel. Well, a couple of them got to whooping it up a few nights ago and broke five of them, so I had to go over Jake's and... Replace them. 
Sam will buy a window pane from you. Already got him setting the windows. All right, I'll take it out of the window. Then how am I going to rent a room? Hey, uh, how long did Jake say to be before he got another window pane? He said it'd be at least a week. Sam, what do you get a night for the rooms? 50 cents. All right. I'll buy the window pane from you. I'll pay you 50 cents a night till Jake gets the new window panes in. A deal? <laughs> if it means that much to you. <laughs> right. Be right down. Be strong, Huss. It ain't easy on water, Joe. Uh. Sam, is this the strongest water you got? Hi, Lily. A little early for work, ain't you? You run such a lovely place here, Sam. I just can't resist it. <laughs> Hello, Hoss. Howdy, Miss Lily. What you got in the package? You remember your birthday last month, Sam, when I forgot to get you a present? Oh, that was all right, Lily. I didn't mind. Oh, well, I did. And it's been bothering me ever since. So today I got you a present. Got it from Mrs. Hawkins. It's her specialty. What time is it? Lemon cream meringue. I'd like you to have the first bite. Lily, that is the tastiest pie I ever ate. I sure appreciate this. I, I surely do. I'll go get some plates. How about you, Hoss? Thank you, Lily. What, Hoss? What's the matter? You're not sick or something, are you? Well, I've seen you turn down the best-looking girl in here, but, but never something to eat. Oh, come on, baby. For Sam's birthday. Hmm. Now, now, cut that out, Lily. Why? What's wrong with a little bit of pop? <laughs> well, I promised little Joe, see? Well, what's he got to do with it? Don't worry. We'll save him some. No, that, that ain't it. Oh, come on, honey. If not for Sam, then do it for Lil. Huh, please? What's the big idea? Oh, that's what I like to know. What is the big idea? Where'd the pie come from? I bought it for Sam. For his birthday, if it's any of your business. Sam's birthday, my foot. You're working for Traeger, aren't you? I haven't got the slightest idea what you're talking about. Well, the heck you don't. You've been going with Traeger ever since he came into town. He paid you to tempt my brother, didn't he? I'm not that type of girl. You're no pie maker either, Jezebel. Why, the nerve. No, Lily! <laughs> Go! Cut that out. Sam, I need another pain. That means rent on another room. Money is getting to mean less and less to me all the time. Will you leave it alone? Come on, we can. <laughs> Ronnie, I'll see a pause here. Whoop. Mr. Carter, I say, take fence to upper pasture. Chop, chop. All right, all right. Oh. 
Joe. Paul wants to get that fencing up the pasture. Yeah, I'll be with you in a minute. I want to find a nice, safe place for this. Well, hurry up. It's going to be dark before we get back. Okay. My horse up. I'm plump tuck it out. Right, Paul. Oh, come on, horse. Shake a leg down from there. It's about all I can do. I'm so fired tuck it out from all that diet. I'm gonna go in the house and lay me down on that sofa. The sofa? Holy Toledo, the sofa! <laughs> Kitchen, trying to steal some food? No, oh, my belly's so dang empty, it's killing me. Oh! And it's gonna stay that way until after the contest tomorrow. Yes, and it's a dang good thing it is tomorrow. One more night like this, and you both be out in the barn sleeping there. Now listen to me. Get to bed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hurry up, fellas. Let's go. Yeah, we're coming, Pa. That's what? Huh? Oh, that's for the paint of glass. It would be cheaper to go ahead and buy a whole glass factory. Well, after you win that contest today, Hawes, I just might be able to afford a whole glass factory. Here, lie down, rest. That's it. I want him to save his strength for the contest. Well, this I gotta see. She'll be some compensation for the last few days anyway. <laughs> Contestants here, we can begin. The rules are simple. The man who eats the most flapjacks in an hour wins. The hotel will keep him coming from the kitchen. Hey, all right, what are you doing here? You couldn't be over a 15 or 20 flapjack man. Well, you see, Hoss, my wife's been away visiting her sister, and I ain't been eating so good. So I figured this here would be a good chance to store up. <laughs> Plain or with something on them, any way you want. Now, if you all be seated and ready, we'll begin. 
One, two, three, go! Let us go! Take your time, you got a long time. Don't worry about the competition, just take it easy. Come on, boy, just keep thinking of that five hundred dollars. Just keep thinking about it now. Go ahead, boy. Yeah, Joseph. Yeah, Pop. Joseph, this contest is taking exactly an hour, so let's you and I get some hands done in the meantime, huh? Oh, for Papa, don't you think I'm going to stay with Horsey? He might need some syrup or something. Oh, the hotel provides all those services. I want to get over to the post office, see if there's any mail from Adam, and you might try persuading Jake to open up his shop long enough to get that window pane. Oh, he hasn't got any left. Huh? Well, why'd you bring that mattress? Oh, I I've been going over and getting them from Sam at the saloon. He's got a couple extra. Huh? Well, you just get over to that saloon and get an extra window pane, huh? Oh. I'll meet you back here. All right. Well. Come on, come on, come on. Howdy, Mr. Traeger. Howdy. Be with you in a moment. No hurry. How's the contest going? Just fine. I do believe the whole town's out there watching. Yes, I know. I was counting on watching it myself when the bank closed at noon, but they went up to starting time. Yeah, I know. All right, sir, now what can I do for you? Well, you can put the money in this here valise. What? You holding up this bank? And shoot the bank if I have to. Now, you just do as I tell you, and you won't get hurt. What's that, Voss? It's my secret weapon, Art. Try it. Ah! Ain't got enough to go around. Voss. Disqualified. It's one of Traeger's tricks. Come on. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. Now sit down and start eating. You'd just go to any lengths to, to break a window pane, won't you? <laughs> Good job, boy. Good job. Oh, thanks. Well, Traeger robbed the bank. He was trying to get away. He what? Traeger robbed the bank. He was trying to get away. You mean he's a crook? Sure. You saved the bank thousands of dollars, boy. <laughs> yeah, but now I can't collect my bet. You just earned yourself a $500 reward. Come over to the bank and pick it up. Joe, did you hear that? $500. Yeah, but that's only half the loaf, Hoss. Ah, listen, 
That was a pretty slick job you almost got away with there. Now, you are no ordinary bank robber, are you? What's your real name? Come on, you might as well tell us. We're gonna find out anyway as soon as we get you over to the jail. Sure. Cunningham. Cunningham? Ain't there a price on your head? Best there is for bank robbing, $500. Hey, Joe, did you hear that? Hey, this is your lucky day, Joe. Five hundred dollars. That's five hundred plus another five hundred. That's a thousand any way you look at it. And the five hundred dollars you won for winning a pancake. Yeah. Guy. Hey, Sam. Where's my five hundred dollars at? You haven't won yet, Hoss. There's still one contestant at the table. Ira's still at the table, and in the remaining time, if he eats more than you, he wins. That dang Ira. He ain't no bigger than my leg. Yeah. All right, let's get this Jasper off to jail. Well, tough luck, brother. Hey, wait, wait a minute now. Huh? Where are you going? Oh, I'm going over to jail, see about my reward. Uh-huh. First things first. But, but, but what's more important than my reward? A window pane. Oh, now, come on, Pa. For crying out loud, you don't expect me to drop everything that's important just to get a... A window pane. A window pane. Oh, by the way, got a letter from Adam. He's coming in on today's stage. That little Joe, he made it just in time. What? Nothing, Paul, nothing. Hi, little Joe. Hey, what was all that shooting about? Yeah, well, the shooting was at your boyfriend, Traeger. He was robbing the bank while everybody else was at the contest. No. How about that? Can't trust nobody no more. Yeah, what's that? A little trinket that bank robber gave me. Probably a phony. Yeah. Let me see that. Yeah. Oh. I told you. A phony. Priceless ruby, he said. You break this time. Hmm? A, a ruby. That's <laughs> your brother Adam's ruby. Yeah, they, they stole it from me the other night. They stole it? Here comes the stage, Paul. Look, Joseph, your brother Adam is in that stage. I sure don't envy you the job of having to tell him that they stole his valuable ruby. His what? What? Well, this isn't a valuable ruby. It's a phony. I was worried about having to give Adam $1,000. I don't have to give him anything. It's nothing. You know your brother Adam. He's going to want that ruby or whatever he paid for it in hard cash. It looks like you've done it. I'm so full, I'm gonna bust, Hoss. Can't stop now, just 10 more minutes, and if you finish that plate, you win the whole contest. I'm, I'm gonna hate flapjacks the rest of my life. I just can't eat another bite. Oh, sure you can. Look, look, Ira, since Little Joe's all said, I, I ain't got no interest in winning this contest no more, so I'm gonna give you my secret weapon. Yes, sir. You see what happened if, if you eat all them sugars and them syrups, it gets monotonous. A man needs to shake up his taste buds every once in a while with something like this. What is it? Vinegar. Ira? Ira? Ah, thank you. By the way, you get that package I wrote you about? Oh, yeah, well, uh... As a matter of fact, uh... Oh, what's wrong? Didn't it arrive? Yeah, yeah, it arrived. I'll buy it from you for $1,000. Well, now, what in the world would you want a ruby for? Oh, haven't you heard? Uh, little Joe's become a collector of uh, rubies and window panes. Well, you're out of luck if you want my ruby. man on the stage offered me $1,500. What? 
Now give me the ruby or fifteen hundred dollars. Howdy, Adam. Hey. Hey, uh, not with Ira. Oh, uh, poor little Lyra took sick. Hey, hey, you mean you won the contest? Yeah, yeah, I guess I did at that. What contest? Uh, what are you talking about? Well, what they're talking about, at least, uh, what little Joe's talking about, I think, is, uh, money. Hmm? So Adam here wants, uh, $1,500 for that ruby. Huh? That's what the man said, $1,500. I'm... I'm $500 short. So, what you want is my contest money, right, Joe? Right. Well, the way I figured, Joe, what you already owe me, and Sam the bartender, I figured it'll take you at least a year to just get even. I reckon that'll be a good lesson for you, little brother. Oh, I doubt that very much. As a matter of fact, I'd be willing to make a little wager that your young brother here takes more than a year to pay you off. Oh, yeah? You giving any odds? What was that? Hmm? Oh, nothing. Nothing. I, I was only kidding you, Pa. <laughs> Just a joke. You know, you know I don't I don't bet. Well, of course you don't bet. I know that. <laughs> but what was that you said uh, a little while ago when Mr. Traeger was taken into custody about uh, a bet being ruined? And while we're at it, young fella, what about these poker playing activities of yours? Uh, and uh, it... pa, 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 why don't we, uh, why don't we just talk about that later? I got a lot of important things to do. I, I gotta get that window pane, and I know that's that's important. <laughs> oh, hello. I, I know you want that window pane, and I'm gonna get it. I promised you. Oh, I'm gonna get it, and uh, I'm gonna get it fixed too, Pa. I'm gonna fix it.